What is going on guys? We are back with another video today and we are doing another blast from the past video and this is kind of the cream of the crop. We are using someone's 1985 Bears roster which has pretty much every single name from that roster outside of, you know, every single backup. And unfortunately, I don't remember their name, but it was the most downloaded one on the the community file, so obviously very easy to find if you just type in 1985 Bears. Number one downloaded, you could easily filter that. Just like you could easily like and subscribe and follow your Twitter Trump here, right? Um, but now there is the thing. I will say a lot of the speed ratings are kind of overrated or a little overdone, I guess. Because not only were players back then, in comparison to today's game, a lot slower... But even if they weren't, let's say this was today, they'd still be fast, you know? <laughs> do you really think any player, well, maybe there may be a few, but do you think the average player on the Bears team was faster than any p average player in the NFL today? Because I don't think so. You know, 300 pounders today are faster than 270 pounders, you know, 40 years ago or whatever it was. What is 85? 30 years ago. Thir yeah, about 35, 40. Uh, but this is what the roster looks like. We changed some of the devs. Uh, you know, Singletary gave uh, X Factor, Richard Dent X Factor, William Perry X Factor. This guy already had X Factor, so I just didn't change him. And then, you know, offensively, uh, Jim McMahon, who's basically their best quarterback all time, unless you want to really count Jay Cutler, gave him star because he wasn't, you know, amazing. Uh, he was kind. Nah, he just wasn't amazing. Uh, Walter Payton X Factor, obviously. And. You could see the rest. For some reason, this roster also had Devin Hester and Mike Ditka, which makes no sense. Oh, that's what I'm, the one thing I forgot to do. I forgot to, uh, what is that called? I forgot to change the coach. All right, heads to the playoffs. And, uh, of course, as you would expect, 13-3. and three. You guys seen this roster. It's insane. What were the teams they lost to? The Packers, Shocking, Eagles, and then the Giants. Okay, okay. Uh, let's take a look at the stat line for this 85 Bears team. 4,194 yards, which would be like, I'm trying to think, that would probably be the most yards in a season back then, right? Touchdowns, 30, 10 picks. Uh, definitely would be his best season ever. Walter Payton, 1,586 yards, 15 touchdowns receiving. Willie Galt, 1,300 yards, 10 touchdowns. The rest not really looking super hot, to be honest. Receiving, uh, or blocking anyways, uh, pretty solid. But then again, those guys were insane of you know overalls once again i didn't watch every single game back in 1985 shocking because i wasn't even around uh i don't i don't know every single player's true rating so we're just gonna base it off of this guy's you know quote unquote knowledge uh which i don't know how how uh, dependable that is because obviously like i said a lot of the players are pretty damn fast here but maybe he made them fast because it was like in comparison you know you're giving one of the greatest teams of all time a madden 20 facelift you got to make them on par with the other talent around. Of course, looking at the sack numbers, pretty damn solid. Uh, looking at kickers, Kevin Butler, 15 for 17. Uh, any kick return, maybe punt return touchdowns, probably not, right? There was not. Let's take a look at the MVP list and all those other awards because we might have had one. Hey, Jim McMahon, surprisingly MVP. I will say surprisingly, too, because those numbers weren't insane compared to some of the numbers we've seen that don't win MVP. Hell, our latest Buccaneers rebuild, Tom Brady, who didn't even come close to MVP, and he had a lot of great years. O-lineman, we had the number of one, two, three, four, and five linemen, uh, D-lineman, William Perry, and then uh, McMichael at number five. Booking a best linebacker, Richard Dent, and then that's pretty much that. Of course, we have a bye week here. I would like to play the Patriots again, so let's see if we can do that. And uh, we'll play a well, you know, we'll play a little bit. I don't know exactly what we're gonna play because there's literally a whole roster, but we'll play a decent bit. Oh no, the Packers! Be real unfortunate if I accidentally simmed the wrong team. Here it is: the Patriots versus the Bears. Hard Rock Cafe. It's not the cafe; it's the stadium, isn't it? <laughs> it's not really that. Oh, the uh, all the players look pretty decent too. They look, uh, they look good. They look good. They're all hyped up. I wanted the away uniforms because that's what they wore, but. They don't have them, so the best we could do is the uh, the 85 home. And then that's what the Patriots look like. Tom Brady is on this roster because I would assume this was made pretty early in the uh, the season. You know, The only way this would have not had Tom if it was made like maybe a month or two ago, which no one's doing that. Mike Dick, 
Doesn't look like Mike Ditka, but it, you know, well, no, it's unfortunate. I can't remember if it's on All Pro or All Madden. I suppose we'll find out soon, depending on uh, if we have any sort of success at all. And Richard Dent does well, but oh, look at Singletary. Look at that. That was beautiful stuff. This is actually a pretty cool roster. Look at the hit power. Everyone's going wild. William Perry on the play. Jesus. Look at Richard Dent. Maybe it is on uh, the proper difficulty. Singletary, I don't know if he got him. Tom Brady and company going with those short plays. Oh, I wanted a hit stick with Richard Dent. Come on. No one cares about your feelings. We're blitzing. Probably should have looked at the uh, the X factors. And Singletary instantaneously takes down Brady. Third down and 10. Don't know why I did that accent. Oh, inside. I think it is. Oh, God. Yeah, I think it is on all Madden. I think these players are just absolutely insane. Could you not hit your own player, though, pal? So as far as the 85 Bears video goes, it probably should be mainly about the defense. But still, Walter Payton is still Walter Payton. He does not have jukebox here. What abilities does he have? Spin cycle and human joystick. Okay. And that didn't go well. <laughs> Come on. Human joystick's sick, obviously, but kind of you kind of want that jukebox. I don't even know when to use spin cycle. I guess you can't really do anything there. You just got to run at that point. Let's try a little throw. I know Walter's fun as hell, but let's try a throw. Even if we throw to Walter, at least it's a throw. Oh, there's no need to throw to Walter as that fella is gone. I probably am not going to put him on the thumbnail, but hey, yeah. Time to put a dent into him, right? And I literally move Richard all the way across the field. Doesn't matter, though. This team's too sick. Oh, no. We don't have enough backups in. So Aaron Lynch sneaks his way onto the field. You know, Aaron Lynch from the 1985 Bears team. I'm going to bring all the DBs in, and then we're going to run commit and see what happens. Better finish. Edelman's not going <laughs> to. William Perry probably would have caught up to Edelman at this rate. Or not at all. William Perry, yeah, it's got to be on all Madden because William Perry just missed a tackle. And he looks thick, by the way. You see those legs? I mean, William Perry is a big guy, but really? Like, his legs are going to bust out of his legs. I don't even know what that means. What a hit and a fumble forced and recovered by this man right here. McMichael, look at him rumble into the end zone. And uh, let's celebrate. Team celebration, please. Of course, we let the game dissimmon a little bit, and the AI just takes over. Let's try a little more Walter Payton action. You got to get that spin cycle going. That's that's what spins. So basically, spin cycle is the normal spin moves from last uh, last Madden. Man, what an ability! I wow, that's a great ability you got there. Little movement on the run. Well, kind of. That man's fast. <laughs> that man is fast. That is P.I. Oh, Walter almost didn't care. That can't be his uh, out of the zone, right? I have to say, that's not that's not his job. His job is to make people miss. And boy, does he know how to do that. Yeah, not having jukebox is devastating. Let's get one field goal in there while we're here. And yes, I did accidentally hit A to choose a random play. And I'm making an excuse for, oh, everyone should get a piece of the ball. I didn't want to kick that field goal, but I already had it pulled up. Sure, we're going to have a little bit of everything. Kick return, come on. Never mind. Do we go to the tight end, Moorhead? If we have, oh, that's, that other guy's going to go over there. And he drops it. Come on, fellas. What else would you want to do on third and 18? You give it to Walter, obviously. Even though, ironically, they barely gave it to him in the Super Bowl. Oh, never mind. Never mind. Spin. Let's be honest. Spin cycle still sucks. Ain. But that was a nice little spin. Got to give it to him. That was a sick spin. <laughs> oh, he's... <laughs> That's... <laughs> I was trying to make that represent... <laughs> William Perry got diving into the end zone because they wouldn't let me put him in at fullback for some reason. This is my attempt. I put the tight end in, who's a white dude, and this is the best I get. 
<laughs> okay, dude. That's... And he just... This is down by contact. Like, he's sitting there. Oh, my lord. What an actual comedy of errors. Shout out to him for sticking the landing, I suppose. But, Jesus. We also lost uh, Walter Payton's uh, zone, which is, you know, cool. Walter is so fast. Oh, look at the spin. Get on the ground. It's like a robbery. Robbed that guy's soul. Robbed his dignity. Robbed the respect people had for him. All right, the score is 31 to 3. Seems like an interesting scoreline. See if the 85 Bears can hold them out of scoring a touchdown. Oh, barely couldn't get there. But didn't get the feet down, anyways. Just run a little bit of man coverage. A little bit of man. Why is Dent in coverage? Oh, my. That, ooh, that was close to a fumble. Singletary is killing it. Time to go for an engage eight. Can we get a Richard Dent pick? Everyone comes in. Last second, Richard Dent. Oh. Come on, somebody. Singletary forces the fumble out, but the ball is out of it. Jesus, Singletary's a freak. Not a great coach, but he freak. <laughs> I still remember that whole thing with, uh, was it Vernon Davis? Like, he benched him for having an argument. Like, oh, there you go, Richard Dent. <laughs> he thought he was so slick. It's like, you're benching your best player. Well, basically, your best player. Like, no. <laughs> you don't bench primetime Vernon Davis because of an argument on the sideline in which he was probably right about considering their season was trash. Probably made fun of his glasses. I think he wears glasses, right? I don't know. Hope Mike Singletary doesn't see this because he's going to kick my ass. <laughs> oh, Edelman. They're going to go for the field goal. The coding in this game is flawless. Because when you're down by 28, cutting that deficit to 25 is a huge difference maker. It is huge. You go from a three possession, uh, four possession deficit to a four possession deficit. It's ridiculous. <laughs> Maybe, oh, he's a trickster. Ow. Quick throw out to Walter. Who's trying to make things happen, and he obviously does. Look at the spins. Like, let's be honest, that's the only player anyone cares about on offense. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. It's so beautiful. Read option. Okay, dude. Here we go. We got a lead read. Is that what they call it? Oh my. Oh uh Excuse me, Walter, for making fun of you. I never made fun of him. That that I never did. I might be a Packers fan, but yeah, there's you just don't make fun of certain players. It's the Super Bowl and you're punting the Okay, dude. Like go out champions. Even though you're gonna lose, which is weird to say. I think uh this guy on the outside there. McMahon wow, what a throw. Good play. I thought we stepped out of bounds there, which would make it an illegal catch. How close were we to that out-of-bounds line? Oh, I got the footwork of a legend. McKinnon? They've got two superstar corners. How? Catches big fella. That's not the big fella I meant. Is that Jason McCordy? Galt! Well, we threw a pick. There's that. See Richard Dent coming off that edge. Let's go. Oh, no. Oh, it was the wrong player anyways. Never mind. Oh, yes, because Singletary is the guy that got to hit him. That new age. New age. Oh, what a catch. Holy crap. Richardson, you should... Or, uh, ooh, I don't know. I don't know his name. I was I was going to attempt it, and I just stopped. I, I rightfully made the right... I mean, the right call. Oh, Richard Dent, number four and a half. Oh, there's Walty. Yeah, I was going to get the block. There you go. Run! I was going to get the block, but uh, I kind of wanted to just break a tackle. So we did break the tackle. We just didn't break it for a score. And, yeah, like I said, I think I think Walter Payton's going to get player of the game, uh, MVP anyways, because he kind of broke a, an NFL record in the Super Bowl, which obviously means it's probably also a Super Bowl record, right? <laughs> I don't understand how Walter's doing what he's doing. Well, there you know, there's me doing what I do, so don't worry about it. Punt, fullback, I wish William was in now. High point. He just drops it with a throw. I so, so wish William Perry was able to play at fullback. 
McMahon passes it off to Walter, who scores the touchdown. Oh, catch the ball. Thank you. No? It's like right there for him to steal. Just kidding. We don't condone stealing around here. He's got a little step on him. And he's got a lot of step because it's a freaking linebacker. How the hell is a linebacker covering? It's got to be on all Madden. It has to be. It has to be. Hey, are they trying to set an NFL record for kicks in the Super Bowl or something? Oh, it's a fake. Look at him go. Stidham is running on. Jesus. I almost wanted to give it to him because that was some effort. Did you see the speed? That was nuts. That was absolutely nuts stuff. Are you serious? That's a pretty good throw. And that's a really good pick. Jason McCordy, man. I can see why the man does so well in rebuilds. He's insane. Yeah, that's a goal. With the last two minutes, we're going to try to get a pick with Singletary, which I think we can do. Oh, that was a good play. Singletary, no, we had it. We had the pick, but too many players got involved. Where is it? Singletary is... Is that Enforcer? I don't know the uh, the color. Wow. Okay. I don't know the uh, the logos. Now the goal becomes give Walter Payton another touchdown. Walter's never really needed blocks, has he? Has he? Has he? I don't think he has. That's just my opinion. They read the first screen. You know, fair enough. Good, good read. But when they read the second one, they do. <laughs> but Walter does get out there. Oh my, that is a that is a beast of a man. We should probably just try to chuck this to the end zone. Shallow cross, Walter Payton, man of the year award. That should be a touchdown. It's a little underthrown. No, it's not. It's a damn good throw and a dagger. Last second buzzer beater play. What a throw. Like, I feel like maybe we just threw it a little late. That was really good. I was going to go to Walter, but... The guy did shade over to him. Walter set it up. Just like in the real Super Bowl, Walter didn't have a lot of great plays himself necessarily, but because they were so scared of him, that's what you know made the Super Bowls the victory for the Bears. You know, Didn't expect it. Would you expect it? Because I wouldn't. And here we go. The 1985 Chicago Bears win the Super Bowl in this realm. Of course, we did force win all the way up to this point, but honestly, I don't think we would have had to. They were just that good. 13-3. and three. If you don't win with the 85 Bears, the game's just broken then at that point. Because uh, especially with this roster, it made them very fast as well. So take a look at Super Bowl MVP. Probably Walter, right? I, I would say it's probably Walter. Dent did play pretty damn well, though. What, four and a half? Maybe even more sacks. Be crazy if he actually did get it here, but probably not, right? Probably not. I wouldn't put I wouldn't put any money on it that it was Dent. We'll take a look at the highlights first, I guess. That was uh, one of the earlier touchdowns to Galt. That last throw better be in there. And there it is right there, ironically enough. Walter Payton better have a highlight. Uh, no, McMichael with the... <laughs> the man was running with crap in his pants. No Walter Payton highlights. Are you for real? Not even a single one. The game, the player of the game, the Super Bowl MVP doesn't get a single highlight on there. Okay, dude. 417 yards, four touchdowns. Uh, God, that wasn't even what the video was supposed to be. It was supposed to be the defense, but the whole team anyways. I mean, you know what? Because I actually like this roster so much, I will do a channel first. I will actually go to the roster and show you exactly how to get the thing. That is channel first, okay? I mean, I'm just saying. I'm just saying that is... That's an honor, right? Screw the rest of the, <laughs> screw the rest of this honor. Speaking of, uh, we had a couple of picks. Uh, Brady, of course, being Brady, didn't. Uh, any other stats that really jump out? Probably not. Everyone kind of got a piece of the ball. Blocking uh, Isaiah Wynn. Yeah, they gave up a lot of sacks. We gave up one, but it was kind of our fault. Richard Dent had six sacks. Oh my lord, he was robbed of MVP. That sucks. But, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll take a look at that real quick. See, uh, you know, if you guys wanted to play this roster, you can play with this roster. So first things first, to do uh, to grab one of these rosters, you like and subscribe on the video. <laughs> uh, that's not what you do, obviously. You go to download Community Files under that little gear which says Rosters. Then you go to Roster. I think you go to Roster, right? This is what I usually do, but sometimes it does show the other stuff anyways because I think the keyword just goes on its own. 
1985. You probably just get away with just saying 1985, to be honest. And uh, I believe... I don't remember which roster it was. Oh, this one. This one. Yeah, it actually wasn't easy to find. Okay, so... You, you Axorial Money 653. This is the guy to get it from, I believe. Greatest defense of all time, 2 non. Yeah, this is the one because he has Mike Dicka and Devin Hester. Uh, yeah, a lot of the players are overrated, pal, but yeah, it's a great roster, I think. So, uh, you know, give it a like. He's got one like. Uh, of course, I have to actually. God damn it. Either way, give it a like, give it a download, give it all those things if you want to use it. Anyways. Thanks for watching. Uh, you know, you got you got to support these guys because, you know, these are not easy things to do, especially with the way EA makes the roster creation. You can't, like, if you could just go on, like, a website on, on your computer and just enter it with your keyboard, that would be sick. But using your freaking analog stick is a nightmare, man. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have a suggestion for another Blast from the Past player or team in the future, let me know. Of course, if there's no roster up for a team one like you're like i want to see the 2000 patriots or something i'm probably not going to do it because especially this late in the madden creating a whole roster is aids but let me know in the comment section below uh, there will be another video later today and then tomorrow we'll have two videos and then sunday we'll have a video so nba will probably be tomorrow anyways thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed hope you come back for next video but until next video see ya